Hello everybody, it's that college football guy here with another video. Told you I'm cranking these things out, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was looking at the videos of some of the upload. Looks like it's white. I've been checking my screen to see if it's clean. No, it's just because of the light here. It makes things look white, look fuzzy, except it's not. <sighs> I'm at home. I don't have professional lights. I don't have all that fancy setup because I'm just a small YouTuber. I don't haven't got the money to get have my own room and all that stuff. Maybe later on we can do that. That'd be great, but... I'll probably still be doing film truck. Um, time for another scheduled preview. Now we're talking about Louisiana, the Raging Cajuns. First season without Billy Napier. Uh, compared to what they've been, they had a rather disappointing season. They went 6-7. and seven. Um, But as with all these scheduled previews, we're going to do some little comparison work here. We're going to compare the non-cons from last season and this season, decide which are tougher, and then the full schedule from last season and this season, and decide which one's tougher. So, continuing on with the programs here for Louisiana, their non-conference games for last season, okay? Last season, home against Southeastern Louisiana, home against Eastern Michigan, at Rice, and at Florida State. One Power Five, two Group of Five, one FCS, one of the Power, one of the Group of Fives, the Power Five on the road, and one of the two Group of Fives on the road. This season's non-conference games, home versus Northwestern State, Southeastern last year, Northwestern this year, okay, whatever, at UAB, home against Buffalo, and then at Minnesota. One Power Five, two Group of Five, one FCS, Power Five on the road, one of the two Group of Fives on the road. I say last season's tougher. Rice went to a bowl game. They were five and, they went five and eight because they lost the bowl games. They're one of the academic ones to get in. I don't, I don't remember if Eastern Michigan got in or not. Buffalo didn't, Minnesota underperformed UAB. So I got to say, because Florida State's above Minnesota. So I'm saying that's why I'm saying last season's schedule was tougher for the non-conference versus the conference games. The non-conference from last season versus this season, excuse me. Now, the full schedule review from last season. All right. Home against Southeast Louisiana, where they started at the kind of a, only won 24-7 against an FCS opponent. That's kind of surprising. Home against Eastern Michigan, they won 49-21. At Rice, Lost 33 to 21. At Louisiana Monroe to open up conference play. Lost 21 to 17. Home against South Alabama. Lost excuse me, they lost 21 to 17 against ULM. They lost 20 to 17 against South Alabama at home. Then they get the bye. So it's five in front of the bye, seven after. Two and three before the bye. Come out of the bye at Marshall, which is a tough team to play. They won 23 to 13. Home against Arkansas State, won 38 to 18. At Southern Miss, lost 39 to 24. At home against Troy, conference chance, close loss, lost 23 to 17. Home against Georgia Southern, won 36 to 17. At Florida State, no surprise, got blown out, lost 49 to 17. But came back for the regular season finale on the road at Texas State and won 41 to 13 to get that sixth win to be bowl eligible. So they go into the Independence Bowl against Houston and lose 23-16. to So what's the schedule for this season? Well, they're home against Northwestern State, at Old Dominion, at UAB, home against Buffalo, at Minnesota, home against Texas State, then the bye. So they had five in front and seven after last season. Now it's six and six this season. They come out of the bye at home against Georgia State, at South Alabama, at Arkansas State, home against Southern Miss, on the road at Troy, that's going to be tough, and then finish the season at home against ULM, Louisiana Monroe. So who, which schedule is tougher? Let's see. At Rice, oh, hold on. For those of you who haven't watched any of these, first time watching, I compare these by comparing, I compare which schedule is tougher, I look at the road games. What, did you play tough games at home? Were the tough games on the, the tough games at home or tough on the road? Let's see. So we judge the road games. So last season's road games at Rice, Bowl Team, at ULM, at Marshall, Bowl Team, at Southern Miss, Bowl Team, at Florida State, Bowl Team, home against and at Texas State. So one, two, three, four, five Bowl Teams. All right. Then Florida State. Now this season's. Road games at Old Dominion, at UAB, ball team, at Minnesota. I don't remember if they were or weren't, to be honest with you. Uh, at South Alabama, ball team, at Arkansas State. Remember, they were or not. At Troy. 
I think last season was tougher. They had more road games and tougher road games last season. Because, I mean, the fact is, last they played Georgia Southern last season. They don't play him this year. They have home. They play Troy on the road this year. They don't play Marshall. They don't play Southern Miss. That's. Hmm. I'm thinking that last season was tougher, but this year's non con last season and the, both of them are tougher. Non conference games and the full schedule are tougher. But why don't you let me know your thoughts down in the comments? So thanks, everybody, for watching this video. Um, as always, with all of these, if you haven't done it already, please smash the like button, hit the thumbs up. It does help. It helps the algorithm, helps the video be seen by more people. Comment on the video. Question one, as always, with these, we have our three questions. One, Non-conference games, last season or this season, which one's tougher? Second off, the full schedule, last season or this season, which one's tougher? And then the third question, Louisiana went 6-7. and seven. Based on the schedule they have this year, and I'm going to recap it here, home against Northwestern State, at Old Dominion, at UAB, home against Buffalo, at Minnesota, home against Texas State, home against Georgia State, at South Alabama, at Arkansas State, home against Southern Miss, at Troy, and then home against ULM. Can they get back to a bowl game again? Based on what you see here? Let me know your thoughts in the comments on this. And if you haven't done it already, please subscribe to the channel. Just past 450 subscribers on the way to 500. Slowly but surely on that crawl up to 1,000. We can make some things happen. So, thanks everybody for watching. Um, I'm going to still cranking these out for a little bit more. I'm trying to get almost all of them done because I got a lot to do tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to try to crank out as many of these as I can, but I will be stopping probably about an hour, maybe sooner than that, and getting these videos recorded. Um, all depends on how things go. I do have somewhere I got to be here in a little while. So I'm going to try to crank out a few more of them today, and then we can finish them off tomorrow and have some more fun with college football, probably in other with a. Quick video about the finalization of Arizona, Arizona State, and Utah joining the Big 12, which was the rumor from, what, a year ago? The four corner schools go into the Big 12? End up actually happening. And the Pac-12... I did a, just did a video on that. The Pac-12 is dead. They're done. The Mountain West is about to become the best group of five conference. Um, so thanks, everybody, for watching this video. Uh, Hope everybody's enjoying their Saturday. Um, it's been nice here, actually, in Tennessee. Forgot to mention that. After they had a heat wave, I was on the road, so I'm getting weather from everywhere. It was nice and cool. I was in Kentucky, and come back home, it's nice here, although it's going to be, what was it, 87 tomorrow, 90 on Sunday, and then they drop down the low 80s right when the kids go back to school on the 7th. Yeah, for some places, kids go back to school on Monday, so uh, pay attention out there, everybody. As my cat reminds me, I need to feed him. <laughs> Yes, I hear you. All right, so thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Hope everybody enjoys their Saturday. Be safe out there, and please be good to each other.